And so this video begins in our hotel lobby. I had to show this in the video. Oops, someone dropped a fork at breakfast. Yeah, complimentary breakfast behind us here at Drury Inn. First time staying at Drury, I'll be back. This is Lois and Clark, by the way, Sacagawea, and the famous French explorer, Jean Baptiste. Learned about him as a young boy in Indiana. French territory, trapper and traders. This is cool, isn't it? It's a dog thing. I don't know, he's cool though, isn't he? Maybe it's John Baptiste's dog. Also over here, they have a wolf and a rabbit. Hello, rabbit. It's almost Easter, I can't believe it. Easter's in two weeks. D for drool, how do you? I can't say that word. D R U R Y. Drury. Yeah. Up on Drury Lane. And right across from the Drury Plaza Hotel. Drury. Drew, D R U R Y. It's written right there. This beautiful building, which I believe is like City Hall or something. And below the sign here, it says Lewis and Clark National Historic Trail. This building, our hotel, is one of our few remaining links to St. Louis fur trade that began with the city founding in 1764. The International Fur Exchange opened in 1920 and soon boasted the world's largest raw fur exchange. Ooh, creepy. Look at this. It's the arch. I'm going up there today. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the very first time. Are you going to? Nope, sure aren't. <laughs> it's way up there. We're shivering, it's 41 degrees. I'm Tampa J. This is Chris the girl, and welcome to St. Louis. This is the St. Louis Arch. I'm gonna go up there. I've never been inside the museum. I've never been up inside the arch. You have a long time yes, ago. Yes, when I was a child, and it was it was an adventure, so you're gonna have fun. <laughs> I, uh, I'm really looking forward to this. We're gonna explore St. Louis today. Shout out to Explore St. Louis on Instagram for accommodating everything you'll see today. Thank you so much for having us, and that's it. You're gonna see it when we get there. We're gonna walk around the arch, go up in it, and then we're gonna head over to the St. Louis uh, Historic Train Station, which is now like a tourist attraction. They also have the aquarium. I actually walked through there when I was filming my John Carpenter's Escape from New York filming locations last fall I was out here. Actually, last summer I walked through there, showed a bit of it. It's really cool. And then I think we might head over to the famous St. Louis city museum we're gonna go check that out as well you're gonna see she's filming i'm filming check it out here we go st louis much ahead and it's a good day for this it's actually a little colder but clear yesterday it was a very rainy day it wasn't as cold as it is today but the sun is coming out as you can see we're walking around to the east side of the arch and this is just a look back westward there's the hotel we stayed in downtown st louis several hotels right here this says Arch Entry Visitor Center, which is behind me. We'll get there eventually. And also, the mighty Mississippi, the river boats are down through the arch as well. Almost directly under the arch, look up there. You can see the windows. That's where I'm going, my friends. I am still mind boggled on how I'm gonna get up there. I mean, look, an elevator has to go kind of sideways, I'm guessing. We'll see when we get there, much above. Okay, we're walking underneath the arch right now. Look at this. Whoa. There it is. Oh my gosh, oh, are we direct, so almost directly underneath it. You can hear the train on the bridge just to the north. Check this out, the river boats, they have riverboat cruises out here. Cruise the mighty Mississippi River. There's the bridge that we rode in on, uh, Interstate 70, which will take you to my hometown, Newcastle, Indiana, about four hours that way. They also have helicopter tours. And check this out. Wow, <laughs> man, that's amazing. It'd be cool to sail the Mississippi on a riverboat. I think of Mark Twain when I think of riverboat Mississippi and Missouri. And follow the sidewalk, arch entry this way. And here's a map of the Gateway Arch National Park. That building, the old courthouse, is where we started. Here's where we started the video. This is directly underneath the arch. And there's the grand staircase. We walked right here. And then we are back here, about to enter the arch. This is the entrance. Notice how big this park is. It's huge and it's beautiful. Actually, right over there, where Chris the girl is, everyone's going in 
to the arch entry and museum so i'm so stoked to go in here i've never been in here before yeah a lot of folks coming might have quite a party up in the arch this morning it is cold out here folks it is 40 degrees and it's windy entry plaza made possible through the generous support of enterprise holdings incorporated and family this is cool right before you go in it's all glass right there so it is free entry into the museum you have to pay additionally to go up inside the arch I think it was around 20 bucks. Thank you, Explore St. Louis, for hooking me up today. They paid my way to the top. Arch entry, here we go. I'm kind of nervous. You should be. I should be? That's why you're not going, right? And it looks like you have a revolving door or the classic door. I think I'm gonna live dangerously. Let's revolve it. Whoa. Oh, this is nice. Look at this. It's warm in here. It is warm in the arch. You can get warm. All right, I'll have to pull up my email and my confirmation. It looks like the entrance is right over here. They also have a kiosk in the center to ask questions and a ticket center if you didn't purchase your ticket beforehand. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. This is what I will be riding to the top I am coming with no spoilers. This is blowing my mind right now. This is not what I thought this was. Oh my gosh. It looks like six of us will go in. Holy cow. I mean, I'm a big dude. I have a lot of leg room in here. This is going to be 45 to a 60 minute journey in a pod like this. You sure you don't want to go? Yeah, I'm good. I see why. This is nerve wracking. Holy crap. 45 to 60 minutes total, which includes pre-boarding tour. In the tram car, you'll have light airflow and uh, windows to see it inside the arched legs. Your time in the tram car is four, a uh, four minute ride up to three minute ride down. And look at that, 10.10 is my time, it is 10.09. Got my ticket just in time. I think this is the museum down here. Wow, didn't realize it went like way below. This is really nice in here, check it out. Okay, so here's the entrance. Okay, I didn't realize we had to go through security first. We actually walked this way, so I haven't said goodbye yet. Down here is where we go up. There you go, right there. St. Louis on the map. Check out these screens here. There's the museum, and I believe... Oh, look at that, Explore St. Louis. That's what we're doing today. They've got a booth here. And we're gonna have to actually walk through the museum to get to the pod. Okay, we'll come back in here. This is awesome. Whoa, didn't expect all this. Destiny or design? It's a giant penny. Cool. Wells Fargo Stagecoach. Okay, so there is a South Tram right out there, or right down there. And there is a North Tram. My ticket says North Tram, so I am going to enter right here and go to the top. Wish me luck. Good luck. I love you. Fine. Oh boy, just scanned in my ticket. It's a time ticket, but they didn't ask the time. I think it's just a way to keep track of it. Just get in line to the top. I'm on the red tour, tramp car number seven. Hey, lucky number seven, that's good. All right, so we're moving. All right, gotta find circle number seven. Look at that, lucky number seven right up front. I'm gonna watch a little program here. Good evening, folks. Now, hearty welcome to our drive in there. Okay, we just got our group photo right there, and now we're gonna head down to the stairs, or down the stairs. Didn't realize we had to go down to go up. Actually, that happens a lot. You have to go down to go up. Looks like it bottoms out down here. Okay, so. There is one of the pods, pod number one. Looks like they go all the way down along the wall. So this is the base of the arch. All right, so here's all the elevators. We're gonna head down to seven. Watch your step here. This is cool. All right, so here we go. Elevator number seven. Got a couple more people in my group here. All right, so you can hear the elevators moving. I think they might.
might be almost here. Oh yeah. Look at that. So that's the previous crew. Wow. Alright, here we go. Wow. Gonna be a couple other people in here. In here. Oh wow. So I'm like leaning. There's where we entered right there. Whoa. Chris the girl is down there. It's the capital, or uh, not the capital, the courthouse. There's the hotel we stayed at. Wow. So if I go down, okay, there you go. There's a good view right there. So that's looking west from the gateway of the west. This is so cool. It's a dream come true. I always wanted to be up here. Amazing. Over there, a couple blocks away, Trans World America Center. Um, almost to the top, Tiffany Top. It looks like the South Tower is people that rode up are on that side, so we can't go on that side. Okay, so I'm right at 630 feet at the Tiffany Top of the Gateway, Gateway Arch. This is looking out east over the Mississippi, across Illinois, straight that way. That's where I was born, Indiana. Wow. So we're at 630 feet, 192 meters. Looking down. Whoa, this is where we started the video down there. There's the river boats, the mighty Mississippi. As Clark Griswold once put it. Wow, look at that. Okay, so there's like uh, benches here I can put my knees on. Look at this. So I get a straight shot out. That's incredible. Check it out. Bush Stadium, home of the St. Louis Cardinals. Not too far from where we stayed. There's where we stayed. Drury Inn. There you go. Shout out to Greg's Game Room. Biggest Cardinals fan I know. There's a good look right into Bush Stadium. See home plate. That's so cool. Okay, so we only get a few minutes up here, so everyone's trying to get their photos in, get different angles, look out different windows. So this is the smallest window, the last window on the east side. So this is what you see when you look out right there across the East St. Louis in Illinois. I have to get a few pictures in before we get down. 
watching along the video. This is by far one of my favorite experiences. This is not that bad. It's a little nerve wracking coming up in the pod, but to me it wasn't too bad. There's a cool uh, photo of how they constructed it. They put cranes on top so they could lower stuff in. All right, I think it's time to go. Good boy. It's amazing how small that is. Yeah, there was, we were only getting three people in there. Here's the last one, number one. All right, that was well worth it. That was so much fun. And here we are, back to where we started. There is an arch cafe, look at that. I remember when I went to Liberty Island, I think they had a Liberty Island cafe. I like how national parks do that. I did it. You did it, you survived. I thought it was really good. Yeah. I was telling them I enjoyed it way more than I thought, and I was just telling you that I considered it more therapeutic. That's good. Yeah, it was really That's relaxing good. up there. Yeah. Wasn't as scary. Yeah. What'd you do? Um, I got some food at the cafe behind you, and then I walked through most of the museum. Okay. It's really cool. It says right here that St. Louis was founded on February 15th, 1764. Ambitious French merchants from New Orleans muscled up the Mississippi. Always appreciate Native American history. My grandpa studied it and worked with Native American artifacts all his life. It's actually, uh, his name was published in a couple books as an expert of Native American artifacts. This is Bum Bisun or Kochokatka, Sock Fox Tribe. Photograph Antonio Zeno Schindler, 1869. Here he is right here. And then on the end here, this right here, his big toe or high toe in native dress and holding a pipe of the Cheyenne tribe. Almost completed one half of the museum. There is so much stuff to look at in here. So much education and history, it's awesome. This is really cool. It's a really nice museum in here. Looks like more of a timeline beginning in 1804 to 1840. What were they looking for? They found vast uh, plants and soaring mountains. It's the wayward west. Can you guess who this is? I have no idea. Hopefully it says it somewhere. Okay, here it is. You ready? Oh, okay, I see it now. This is Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson was a leading figure in America's expansion westward. It is well known that Thomas Jefferson authorized the Louisiana Purchase, which I believe happened on April 30th 1803 and I always remember that from school because April 30th is My birthday not in 1803 though not that old. Hey, babe. Hey, it's Thomas rub? Jefferson. You have to rub it. Yeah for good luck. Oh I don't know. I just made that up. Oh I'm Thank sure you. I'm sure work. Mr. Jefferson <laughs> Here's a map of the explorations west of the Mississippi looks like circa 1804 to 1841, those are all the routes there. Mostly along the river here, leaving St. Louis, the route of Lewis and Clark into the Dakotas, Montana, Idaho, Oregon, Washington. Here we got the Missouri Fur Company. It's all about the fur trading. French trappers and traders. Yeah, this museum is awesome. You can make a whole video Chris did highlight more stuff in her video, so go check that out. Mississippi. Look at this. It's a cool mural. I got a stagecoach over here. This is 1838 to 1860. And this mural, beautiful. It is in tribute to the builders of the St. Louis Arch, all their faces up there. And very cool how they have the cranes, kind of showing the construction. And then they have other national monuments along the wall, uh, wall as well. I haven't, I haven't been to Mount Rushmore. I have I have not been up top, but I have been to the Washington Memorial, the Washington Monument, been to Independence Hall, uh, USS Constitution, you gotta do that. 
Yeah, this is really cool. There's all their faces right there, the builders. They've got some virtual reality over here. Right before the art store. The log of a cowboy, a narrative of the old trail days. Chris was saying that my grandpa would enjoy this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I don't know if it's fiction or non-fiction, but I still think he might. He might enjoy that. it. You know, the first time I saw the arch was with my grandpa. Oh yeah? That's when we went to Tulsa, Oklahoma. Nice. To the Indian Artifact Show. All those years ago. That's the first time I saw it. We went to the uh, Indian mounds, Native American historic mounds, which are not too far from here. Jim Bridger, another great Western explorer. Oh, when I th hear Jim Bridger, I always think of Red Dawn because they mention it, him and Red Dawn. Exit, no re-entry, so we're just gonna walk out the sides of the arch. Don't have to go all the way back through and up the way we came. Here we are, south side of the arch. Elevator's right there. Whoa, I can't believe it. I was just up there. That's blowing my mind. So cool. Wow. And the old city courthouse. All right. So, if you know anything about Dred Scott, that famous trial, Dred Scott Lane right there on the sign, that is where that trial went down. I learned that in the arch. Looks like they're restoring it too. Beautiful building. So we're grabbing our car. What was this name? I forget. It was like Seagram or Seagrass or Seagrass. Sebastian or something like that. <laughs> we forgot. Sorry, bud. And we're exiting the parking garage. Check this out. Not too many parking garages you can look out and see a national monument. We're literally two stories up as our hotel room. And this is a large building, the former Union Station, now hotel. So we came to the front to show you what's in front of all of the, you're about to see the aquariums behind here, the St. Louis wheel is behind here, a giant attractions uh, area and restaurants right below where all the train cars, Union and the Pacific Railways used to come right here into St. Louis. A lot of famous people have been through here. I remember John Wayne actually took a train through here once. This is the bell tower, or the watch tower, the clock tower. So everything you're about to see, we're gonna roll around front and uh, park out back, is behind this building. And again, I was in here several months ago with my friend Larry Kirshner, did the filming locations for Escape from New York. We got in there, that, there's a lot of scenes with Donald Pleasance, there's a lot of scenes with Snake Plissken in here, specifically the railway scene. I got all that in that video if you wanna check it out. And here's the main entrance. St. Louis Aquarium, The Wheel, Union Station, and look at that. Reminds me of Five Old Goes West. Actually, welcome to a Five Old Goes West filming location. Yeah! Chris is excited that this is the National Build-A-Bear headquarters right here. Bear quarters. The Bear Quarters? Yeah. She's talking about it in her videos. Yeah. Build-A-Bear. We always had this joke that uh, Build-A-Bear secretly ruled the country. I believe that. Because the conspiracists say that a group called Bilderberg runs it, and we were like, no, it's seriously Build-A-Bear. <laughs> and to find the aquarium, you gotta walk through here, the overhang. It's actually right to the right towards Old Union Station. Yeah, imagine all the train tracks coming through here, and also Snake Plissken. And I remember this. And they built a freaking koi pond behind Union Station Hotel and Union Station. I remember walking up here and seeing like flames coming out of these like lily pad things. They do like a flame show here. It was pretty cool. Maybe we'll catch it before we get out of here. Also, there's some of the koi fish that you can feed. And then right over here, the St. Louis Union Station and Aquarium. And we enter St. Louis Union Station. I know there's a coffee shop in there and it's $30 per adult to enter the aquarium. Again, another shout out to Explore St. Louis and Transworld for hooking us up this weekend. All right, here we go, we got our passes. Check this out, ropes course. Look at this, zip lining. All kinds of things you can do in here. All right, wow, check this out. The projection show when we walk in. Oh, we're getting on the train. This is a short introductory to the aquarium and the station itself. Whoa, we're getting on a train. 
Very immersive. Look at the aquarium there. Fish in the gear works of the clock. It's actually keeping accurate time too. 115. Look at this. Don't look at the screen. Hello, folks. I'm John Tickerman, your conductor and tour guide today. This is neat. We start our journey on September 1st, 1894, when the first train departed Union Station. And that is the voice of John Goodman. Today, oh, let's take a closer so. look. Who is from St. Louis? I've been yeah. I know the screen. The screen for a few weeks. <laughs> and right off the other side of the train, the aquarium begins. I'm here to see the sharks. Looks like you can touch some fish in there. Giant fish over there. A lot of fish you'd see in the Mississippi River. Look at that giant catfish. Wow. All right, we're gonna touch some fish in here. Whoa, that's cold. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Help me. They like me. They really like me. They're like sucking on my fingers. Oh, that's weird. Oh no. What do I do? Wow. Look at that Goliath catfish. That's Catfish Hunter right there. Not to be confused with Stan Musel. Looks like we just poke, poke our head into these windows. Oh, there's a shark right there. Whoa. There's the main window. There you go, shark coming our way. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. So she's mic'd. She can communicate. Who else has a question? Okay, you go ahead. How many fish are in How many fish are in Shark Canyon? Great question. So we have 17 rays, or 17 sharks, 21 rays, two green sea turtles, and we always say a lot of fish. We don't have exact numbers. We have estimated about 3,000 to 3,500 fish in here. Wow, great question. Whoa. Wow, look at the floor. So cool. Waves crashing. <laughs> yeah. Don't look down. And that was a great aquarium. It's not the largest aquarium I've been to. Actually, it's more on the smaller side, but they have so much uh, sea life in here, diverse sea life and things to do. Of course, it ends in the gift shop. Look at that. I've been here before, I bought a coffee here. Now back outside, walking over to the St. Louis Wheel. You can see it right there. I've done the Las Vegas wheel. I've done the one in Chicago. And I think I've done the one in Orlando. There's a video out there. I can't remember. They all run together. And here we are. So the ticket I picked up earlier gets me into six attractions around this area, Union Station. There's also a mirror maze. We're going to save that for another time. But I do have access to the wheel. So I'm going to go up in it. This is my second time getting high in this vlog today. It is, yeah. Record. Coven? No. <laughs> the St. Louis Wheel. Here we go. These look like the pods to the Skyliner at Walt Disney World. They're like the same looking pods. I will be in pod number four. Going up all by myself. Okay, I think this is the first time I've ridden one of these by myself. They're playing Sugar Ray. Look at this. And going up. Check it out the top side of Union Station. That's amazing. And look, downtown, got the arch. That's where the St. Louis Blues play, the hockey team. Wow. Almost to the tippity top. Don't know if you can make out, not tall enough to see the water of the Mississippi. May oh, okay, maybe out that way. We are almost directly on top. Check it out. Almost there. Wow, Chris the girl's down there somewhere. I don't know if I see her. Awesome. Look at that. Stuck right on top. This is enjoyable. Very enjoyable day. We've done a lot. Here we go. I've made one round. Let's see how many times we go around. Look over here. It's another Drury Inn and Sweets. Cool, I got one here. I didn't know it until I saw it. There's a miniature golf course we can also do today if we wanted to. See the greens right there? Right there, there's the miniature golf course. All right, don't have enough time for that, but now we know for next time. Whoa, it's my fourth time around. 
Okay, I went five times around and I'm unloading right now. That was fun. Okay, we could do so much more here at Union Station, but I think we've had enough for today. That was a great time. What do you think? I had a great time, yeah. This was really, really cool. Thanks, Explore St. Louis. It looks like the most amazing thing look, ever. Oh, look on top cool. of the roof. Yeah, I know. There's like a bus hanging off. Decided. Look at all of that. Holy crap. Yeah, I wish we had enough time, but there will be a next time. We're going to come back to St. Louis and rolling back to the hotel, which is right there to the right of the arch. What a fun day in St. Louis. Old St. Louis. And back at the Drury. Drury Inn Hotel parking garage. Check this out. Nice. Echo. Hello. 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 I think this is a good spot to end the video. St. Louis Arch. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Sticking to the end. Do me a favor. Give it a thumbs up. Like it. Share it. Subscribe if it was your first time and also check out Chris the girls video as I said we made two totally different videos as always and uh, Yeah, link in the description below for her channel Thank you and yeah, thanks again explore st. Louis and everyone for watching making this day possible We had a blast and we're very thankful. We could get the time off of work uh, We both took the time off of work to come up here this weekend. The main focus was trans world which is still happening. Um, wow, we are still shocked of how amazing that convention was and is. And all the friends we saw this weekend, thank you so much. Uh, we hung out with Pemberton Haunters last night, our friends from Sefner, Florida, a haunted house we go to. Uh, they, they went out to dinner with us. Also, uh, Johnny and Melissa from Haunt Scene was out there. We had a great night at a restaurant called uh, Ricardo's which was in a 1920s speakeasy kind of tavern down the street. Just want to throw that in here because I didn't film it. And um, yeah, well, we got to hit the road soon. We're actually checking out of the hotel tonight and we're going to hit the road and head back to Florida because we both have to work on Monday. But there's still more videos to come. Yeah. I think I said it all. I think so. All right, goodbye St. Louis. Goodbye to the arch. There it is right there. Look at that, that's beautiful. Know you're awesome. Know you're loved, and no matter who you are, what you're going through, just know there's always much ahead. Also have the church down there. Oldest church in St. Louis, I believe. Bye-bye. Okay, it's over. Bye.